In this chapter we are going to talk a little bit about design and the strategy and I think it is the best if we start if with the value creation cycle and the core competencies of the companies. So let's begin with the creation cycle. And if you have watched one of my first videos, what have we talked about? What was the beginning of our talks about the company? It was about the scarce resources. So we begin with scarce, scarce resources. And when is company successful? When it has got good ability to, to obtain these resources. So I will change the color. So ability, ability to obtain scarce resources. That is the very first point where maybe the company starts. What happens then if it has got a good ability to, to obtain these resources, then we go to second step which is going to be or these resources will allow an organization so allow an organization to create to create and now what they will create what was our second talk well we have talked about some strategy so organizational organizational strategy strategy and uh, with a little bit of definition and a uh, look back uh, what is a strategy well we have told ourselves that it is a pattern of decisions so I will write it down here to the right so it is going to be some pattern pattern of decisions in the future decisions in the future so this is our second point now we have developed some organizational strategy, we have made some design in our company and how we are going to sell our product. So what this will bring us? Well, it will allow us, so allow to invest, to invest. What can we invest? What is there that we already have? Well, the scarce resources. So we are now allowed to invest resources resources and I will now now connect the points and we have got something so called core competencies so core competencies and these core competencies are that is a pretty interesting term for me and I will just finish the drawing and I will enlighten that these are the skills and abilities in these a value creation process that allow the company to be something great. So I will write the definition. So those are skills, skills, and I'm writing off the screen. So and abilities, abilities that make us special, that make us superior. And the, the, the second part of the video is going to be exactly about core competency. So I will now finish the, the value creation cycle. When we already have these core competencies, what is going to be there next? Well, these core competencies are creating something so-called the competitive advantage. So uh, competitive, competitive advantage, uh, advantage. And now let's try to finish this our this our cycle. So there should be some some way way forward and way backwards, and we should finish at our starting point. So what is the movement from core competencies uh, to competitive advantage? Well, they will allow us to create. So allow to create. So that's exactly what we have told and what, what is the word here, special. I'm sorry, I'm off the screen. So those are some skills and abilities that allow us to create something special. So we are special in the eyes of customers and we are something better than them. And what is the step from being special and having some competitive advantage? Well, that will simply, and I will change the color, increase increase that's why we are doing the business that's why we are trying to be so great we want to increase our ability to obtain scarce resources 
So let's recap one more time. The company begins with the ability to obtain scarce resources. That's the very first point we are taking care about. If we are able to do so, this will allow our organization to create some organizational strategy, some plan, which is going to be the pattern of decisions. And if this organizational strategy is good, that will allow us to invest these resources which we have obtained into core competencies and we will have some skills and abilities that will allow us to create some competitive advantage so we will be special in the eyes of customers and when this happens we will be able to back increase our ability to obtain scarce resources. So let's take a look what are the core competencies and just briefly so core competencies 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 uh, I will I will draw a little bit of a, of a company so we are going to have some employees so here are going to be our employees then we have some some managers about them so here are our managers maybe one is right over here one is going to be here one here and then above them is another manager maybe the top manager not the best drawing of a company of course but just for for imagination here we have managers managers here we have employees uh, employees and we are going to have three kinds of uh, or three sources so what are these sources of core competencies or where are these skills and abilities at first those are going to be functional resources so first we will have functional and these are defined as the skills uh, possessed by the functional personnel and where is functional personnel well just these these employees those guys who are really working out there and who are creating something so these are our number one our functional re uh, sources of competitive or of sorry of core competencies secondly those are going to be some organizational resources so organizational so or organizational and these are defined as the attributes of uh, a higher personnel or those who are making the organizational strategy. So simply our managers. So here we have number two. The, the two interesting points about the functional and organizational sources is that, um, for instance, if you would like to imitate uh, organizational sources or if you'd like to imitate the company it is not possible to imitate organizational sources because you would have to buy the company it is not about one great manager right over here it is about the wall management team or the wall decision making process so you would have to buy out the wall company and the interesting thing about the functional sources um, is that uh, it is not enough if uh, the organization just has uh, high quality personnel these resources must be as I said unique and special and they must be difficult to imitate and I will write down this word so difficult difficult to imitate imitate and the last point from our sources is going to be our coordination ability I will continue down here so coordination ability ability so that's our number three and I think you already feel uh, where this uh, this ability is going to be those are these connecting lines how we are coordinating how we are cooperating and how good we are at it so it, this was very simple I think when you draw yourself the company you know okay I'm going to have functional organizational and coordination ability yeah, I can I can already see it I have our employees that is number one I have our managers and then finally it is our coordination ability so this was the video about our value creation cycle in the organization and our core competencies so hopefully it was helpful